Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video I am going to teach you some great sentences and expressions and vocabulary we use when we are going to the pharmacy. So, and I'll also tell you what a pharmacy is because maybe you've never heard that word before. So let's get started. So a pharmacy is a place and it's a place you go when you need to get uh, medication uh, or medicine, okay? So another word for pharmacy is drug store. So you can say either pharmacy or drug store. Pharmacy has a weird spelling. You'll notice it's spelled with PH, pharmacy. Um, so just looking at that PH might be confusing, but the way it's pronounced is farm a C pharmacy. Okay, so don't spell it like this, but this is how we pronounce it. So you go to the pharmacy after you see the doctor and you go there to get your medication. So like I said, why do you go to the pharmacy? You go there to get your medication, medicine, or drugs. These are all words for the same thing. Now you might have heard the word drug before and you might think, wait a second, drugs, isn't that bad? In English, drugs, ha there are two meanings. We can talk about drugs that are illegal. So these are the ones that are against the law. So for example, example, heroin or cocaine, these are illegal drugs. If you go to the pharmacy, you cannot get illegal drugs. I know I'm calling it a drug store, but they do not sell those kinds of drugs. What kind of drugs do they sell? They sell prescription drugs. A prescription drug is another way to say a medication. And it's a medication that your doctor is saying you should take. So to get a prescription, you need to go see a doctor and the doctor gives you a note telling you what medication to take. We call these prescription drugs. You can find prescription drugs at the drugstore or the pharmacy. Something else you can find at the pharmacy is over-the-counter drugs. Over-the-counter drugs are different than prescription drugs. Prescription drugs, you need a doctor to say, take this. But over-the-counter drugs, you do not need a prescription. They are medication or medicine that anyone can, can buy. So for example, if you have a headache, you can buy Tylenol, and that is a over-the-counter drug. You do not need a prescription. Okay, so we've covered why you might go to a pharmacy and that we also call it a drug store. What else can we say about pharmacies? Well, we can talk about who works at a pharmacy. What people might you see at a pharmacy? First of all, you might see a pharmacist. What is a pharmacist? A pharmacist is a person who works at the pharmacy. They are an expert in medication. They have taken a lot of education to become a pharmacist. They are usually the people working in the back of the pharmacy. You might also see a clerk or a pharmacy assistant. These people help the pharmacist. They are not the pharmacist, but they can help the pharmacist and they are the ones you usually talk to first. When you go to the pharmacy, you will often bring your prescription and give it to the clerk or the pharmacy assistant and the pharmacist will put your medication into a bottle and prepare it for you. So now let's look at some other words we need to know for when we go to the pharmacy. Okay, so you're at the pharmacy or drugstore um, and you have your prescription. You've seen the doctor and there's medicine you need. So what do you do? Well, first step is usually at a pharmacy, you might see two signs. You might see the sign that says drop off and you might see a sign that says pick up. So if you go to where it says drop off, that is where you go first. 
And that is where you hand your prescription from the doctor to the pharmacy assistant, the pharmacist, or the clerk, whoever is working there. And then, so that's the first step. You give them your prescription. And then usually you have to wait while the pharmacist prepares your prescription. And once the prescription is ready, you go to the third step, which is the pickup. You go to the sign that says pick up, and this is where they give you your medicine. So three steps, go to drop off, wait, and then you go and you pick up your medication. So this seems really simple, but I remember when I was a teenager picking up medicine, I get confused and sometimes I'd go here first and then they'd tell me, no, no, you gotta go to drop off. So it's simple, but you need to know this is how it works. So there's two um, words we often use when we talk about medication, and they're very important words if you want to save money. So those words are generic and brand. Usually medications have, uh, you might have the same medication, and in one case, there's a brand name. Okay, so it's a famous name, that makes that medication. And brand names are usually very popular and they spend a lot of money on advertising. And so their medicine costs a lot more money. Sometimes there's a cheaper brand that they call the generic. And that's where it's, it doesn't have a name or you know the name is not well known. And so it's the cheaper form of the medicine. Same medicine, but it just doesn't have all the advertising. So we call that the generic. The thing to remember is the generic is the cheap form of the medicine. The brand is the expensive form. So it's always a good idea when you're at the pharmacy to say, is there a generic? Meaning, is there a cheaper form of this medication? And the pharmacist can tell you, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. There's only the brand name. But it's a good idea because you can save a lot of money that way. So let's look at some things you might do while you're at the pharmacy. So like I said, the first step is going and dropping off your prescription. This is a great expression we use when we do that. We say to the pharmacist or the pharmacy assistant, I'd like to get my prescription filled. And so the word we use with prescription the verb we're using is filled. I'd like to get my prescription filled. We might also ask to speak to a pharmacist. Can I speak to a pharmacist, please? And we might do this if we have questions about our medication. For example, you might wanna ask, what are the side effects? Side effects is, it's an important uh, vocabulary word or words that uh, we use a lot when we talk about medication. The side effect is the, um, what the medication can do to you that might not be a good thing. So usually medications can help you, but sometimes they have bad things that they can do to you too. So maybe they help your cold, but maybe they make you very tired, or maybe they make your eyes have trouble um, in sunlight. So it's a good idea to ask the pharmacist, what are the side effects? Now let's look at a couple more actions you can do at a pharmacy um, so you will be ready to go uh, the next time you need to get medi medication. Okay, so you've had your prescription filled, you've dropped off your prescription, you've had it filled, you've waited, and now it's time to pick up your prescription. So we're at the pickup part of the counter. This is where you pay and you often get asked certain questions. You might be asked about your insurance. So they might ask you, do you have coverage? So this means, do you have insurance? And if you have insurance, then you can say, yes, I have coverage, and you give them your insurance information. But if you don't have coverage, what you can say is, I will pay out of pocket. When you pay out of pocket, that means you're not using insurance, you're paying for your medication. Um, I need to pay out of pocket. 
So these are two great expressions you will likely hear if you're at the pharmacy. Um, okay, so they will also tell you how to take your medication. When we're talking about how much medication to take and how often, what we're talking about is dosage. So if you ask a pharmacist, you can say, what is the dosage? That means how much medication do I take and how often do I take it? So the pharmacist might tell you, um, you might have to take a pill, uh, a tablet. A pill and a tablet mean the same thing, okay? Um, there might be a slightly different meaning, but in general, when we're talking about pills and tablets, they're synonyms, they mean the same thing. So you might have to take a pill, and if you take a pill uh, or a tablet, they might tell you something like, you need to take two tablets or two pills, so this answer is how much, at bedtime for two weeks. For two weeks is how often. So this is an example of what they might say for your dosage. Okay, so this example is your dosage. You might also have to take um, medication in a fluid or liquid form. It might not be a pill, so they might tell you you need to take a liquid dose. Uh, a dose is, means, it's another way to say amount. And so for this you might see words like TSP, which means teaspoon, which is a measuring amount, or you might see um, you, there are different ways to measure. You might see tablespoon or um, just a couple drops. So it's good to figure out what these words mean, okay? And if you don't know, you can always ask the pharmacist. I don't know what TSP means. Can you tell me how much? And they will be happy to help you with that. All right, so now just a couple more things about medication, uh, and then we'll be finished for today. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is how um, pharmacists might give you directions on how to take your medication. This is really important to listen to. So they will often give you directions, and sometimes these directions are also written on the label of the medicine. Here are some examples of directions that you might see. You might see something that says, do not exceed. Do not exceed uh, five pills. Do not exceed 10 tablets in a day. What does it mean when we say do not exceed? Well, what it means is don't take more than. So sometimes, uh, for example, with Tylenol, you can take a certain number of pills in a day. And on the bottle, it will say, do not exceed this number meaning don't take more than this. If you take more than this, you might have very bad side effects. We often see um, the word empty stomach. For some medications, they work better if you do not eat before or when taking them. We call this an empty stomach. So the pharmacist might say, take your medication on an empty stomach, which means don't eat when you take this medication. Sometimes pharmacists might tell you the opposite. When you take this medication, make sure you eat. Take this with food. Um, or they might talk to you about drinks. You know, do not take this medication with milk. Uh, for a lot of medications, you're not supposed to take with milk. So this might be a direction you get. You might also be told this medication needs to stay cold. Keep it in the refrigerator. Refrigerate this medication, meaning keep it in the refrigerator. So pay attention to what the pharmacist tells you. And when you're learning another language, there can be a lot of information coming at you, especially when you're at the pharmacy. Uh, the pharmacist can sometimes talk a little fast. There's a lot of different instructions. Even if English is your first language, you can get very confused at the pharmacy. So it's very important if you don't understand something, ask. Or if you missed what the pharmacist, pharmacist said, ask them, can you repeat that? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Really good to ask. 
The other thing that's really important to do is confirm what you hear. So the pharmacist says, uh, you know, make sure you take this on an empty stomach and um, do not exceed more than five pills in a day. And you're like, wow, okay, let me get this straight. Just to confirm, you said, do not exceed um, this many pills in a day and take this on an empty stomach. By confirming, the pharmacist will then tell you, yes, that's what I said, or no, what I said is this. Because medication uh, can be dangerous and can have side effects, it's really a good idea to confirm what you hear with the pharmacist just to make sure you understand everything correctly. So we have covered a lot of different expressions, a lot of different words today. I hope you feel more confident for when you go to the pharmacist. Um, again, learning the words and understanding what will happen at a pharmacist will help you be better prepared so you can understand more of what you hear. I wanna thank you for watching this video and I also want to encourage you to check out www.ingvid.com. There you can actually do a quiz to make sure you understand all of these words and to practice them so you're even more ready for when you go to the pharmacy. Um, I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, there you can find a lot of other videos on many different topics, including expressions, vocabulary, writing, reading, and a whole lot more. Just don't forget to ring the bell. Um, that will help to make sure you are actually subscribed. And finally, um, I'd like to invite you to check out my website at www.teacheremma.com. There you can find more free resources on learning English. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.